Hello guys, welcome to 974 Exotics. You are in for another treat. But before that, we would like to thank Brio Showroom and Brio Auto Care for two things. First of all, they allowed us to shoot this car inside the house just based on the simple fact that it's so windy outside. So we couldn't find a better location. Second of all, they detailed the car from A to Z for the owner. So thank you. Anupam, show them. So, this is our treat for today, the Lexus LC500. For us, it's the most futuristic car that you can buy in the market today, just based on the simple fact that Lexus, when they launched this car in 2017 or 18 up until today, I mean, there was one YouTuber on YouTube that said that if you keep the car until even 2030, it's gonna stay futuristic, which is literally amazing. And you know that I say this word a lot. From the front, to the back, to the sides. Uh, show them the rims, please. Uh, the rims are 20 inch rims. Uh, actually, they are 21 inch rims, sorry. Uh, I think they look exquisite. The paint job on the car is perfect. The tan interior. How many cars, okay? Tell us in the description below, in the comments, just tell us. Uh, how many cars you know in the world that you can go to the dealership and you just tell them, oh, I want a tan interior, a full tan interior from the factory. No custom, no nothing. This is the payment. I want this color with a tan interior and the car comes. You're going to see it from the inside when we take it outside. It's like literally tan from the sunroof to uh, the dashboard to the seats. Like everywhere to stand. And for us in Qatar, this color is special. Uh, the thing that people might not know about the car, uh, specs. It's a naturally aspirated V8. It has approximately 480 horsepower, uh, roughly around 380 pounds feet of torque. So the car is really fast. I was shocked on YouTube when they told us that Oh, the car is not very really fast. Uh, uh, they were comparing it to the Porsches, 911s and so on. We tried the car. So for you guys, you might not know, this is not our personal car. It doesn't belong to the showroom. It belongs to a friend of ours. He literally gave us the car for like a week and we're gonna give it to him within the end of the weekend. We drove the car. We even did, and you have to wait for it, uh, a really nice and exquisite showcase video for this car. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, and based on that fact, kindly go subscribe. <laughs> Share and like and comment, do whatever you want. Our channel is your channel. We're not gonna be here without you guys and without your support. So we would like to thank the guy who gave us the car because the owner, I mean, he gave us this opportunity and we just couldn't turn it down. We had so many accelerations with it. You're gonna hear it. We're gonna rev it for you. We're gonna accelerate for you. And you're gonna see that this car, regardless of the fact that it's a Japanese car, and it might cost around $100,000, yes, but it's cheaper than every other car outside the market or like, uh, in the outside market, whether it's Porsches, Ferraris, you name it. Plus, this car holds its own place. It's not comparing itself to any other car in the market. It's for us, I mean, Anupam is gonna say the same thing. For us, it's the best grand touring sports car you can buy for $100,000. Um, one last thing before we take it out. Um, how can I say this? The car comes with so many luxuries. For example, the carbon fiber roof. 
I no problem, show them. If we, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry, we need, to, I told you it's windy outside. We have to reclean it for the owner. If we open the door, let's open the door for them. As soon as you open the door, this pops out. They have, I mean, attention to details. They have the Lexus logo. And it's so easy to open up. You just pull, it opens. Look at the tan interior. Look at the carbon fiber. I mean, this car has so many details. And now we're gonna take you outside. So, let's take it for a ride. The first thing that you're gonna notice, I have the keys in my hand. Where can you put it in this car? This is the best area to put it in. <laughs> Rather than putting it in your pocket or whatever. So let's go. Uh, and a pump. Let's show them how can you put it on drive. You just push it in and pull it down. That's it. So the car has actually five modes. Now we are on Eco. If you turn this knob up, you go to, oh, Sport Plus. Not really. We have to go to, let's show you everything from the beginning. Okay, so now it's on Eco. Now it's on Comfort Mode. Now it's on Eco again. So you see what I mean, right? So, I mean, this is one thing, but when you get used to it, yes, the car has been with us for the past uh, week or so, but we use it with Sport and Sport Plus most of the time, to tell you the truth. So, Eco, Sport Plus, uh, Sport. I mean, this thing is kind of old actually, so I think this is one negative point. We have to get used to it, so let's put it in normal. If you press, oh, so if you press here, normal, comfort, normal, comfort, custom, oh, we found the sixth mode. So, anyways, we're gonna put it on Sport Plus uh, for the sake of their view. So the car comes with normal mode, comfort mode, custom mode, eco mode, sport mode, and sport plus mode. Anupam, let's show them the sport plus. Woo! That's why we have to thank the owner. So, I mean, by all means, in Qatar, you have so many radars, you have uh, speed limits everywhere. There isn't a place for us to really push the car to the maximum. Um, I mean, we tried. I mean, I literally drive. Uh, I literally drove the car, sorry. Uh, I couldn't go above the fifth gear on a straight line. The car has 10 gears, for God's sake. I mean, just come on. Uh, how can you max out a car like this? Apart if you were on the uh, Autobahn in Germany. That's the only way. It's on Sport Plus. We couldn't even feel the speed bump. Uh, the car is, I mean, you hear me this, you, you hear me saying this word a lot, the word amazing, but the car is literally amazing. Uh, let's give you some personal information. Four years ago, I had a very severe car accident where I had to go to France uh, and, well, uh, let's say that I had one of three choices. Either I will be partially paralyzed, either I'm gonna be literally paralyzed, either I have to go through a course uh, for almost two years uh, to train my back and train my whole body to be able to come back into, uh, let's say, a normal mode. Uh, thank God, today I'm, I'm like uh, healthy, like 100%. The thing is, why I told you this personal information is just based on the fact that whatever car I sit in, if I sit in a car for more than two hours, my back is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. I'm gonna be aching all night trying to sleep. I'm gonna take painkillers. So imagine taking painkillers while you're driving a car or like reviewing a car and the second day you have to go to work. The thing is, I know Pam knows, we had the car for almost a week. When we did the showcase video that you're gonna see soon, the thing is, 
we drove it for more than six hours and I was the one sitting in it. Uh, I went back home. It was like a massage to the soul. The car is so, so, so comfortable. There was one YouTuber that met a guy that had the same car in a black spec, all blacked out from the inside out. And the guy said, I bought the car. So I don't know the States. I never went to the States. But the guy said that I bought the car and it had 900 miles on it. And he drove it from that state to that state. And it took him 21 hours to get back home to his state. And it was in this car. And he said that I felt amazing. I didn't have any back pains. I didn't feel anything negative. It's just to show you that when a company invests its time, not just looks, not just torque, not just power, it's a pro touring car it's a grand touring car it's a sport car yes it might not be a hybrid car but for all those who have hybrid cars i mean can you literally use them every day this car you can use it every day the owner has well we're gonna talk in kilometers i don't know the miles in your own respectful countries but this car has fifty-seven thousand three hundred twenty-five kilometers the guy daily drives the car like literally daily this car is i think a 2018 model uh let's talk about the interior how many cars in the world do you know that comes from the factory spec like this no need to custom anything from the inside for us in qatar the tan interior is the best interior it's the sexiest interior you can have in a car uh the dashboard is full of leather uh the steering wheel is full of leather uh the roof is uh, alcantara or suede if you want to call it uh the car has a literally full tan interior the car comes with only four colors uh the red and black the off white and blue the tan interior and also a full black interior like the one that we have now the colors outside you have the what we call here in Qatar the Pepsi blue, the black, the dark gray, the light gray, the yellow that we are inside now, and the red. And as I told you before, it's how many companies, I mean, just comment below. How many companies you know, two questions, comment below. How many companies you know that have a full interior made of Alcantara, suede, whatever you want to call it, and leather? genuine leather that's one the second question is how many companies in the world can say that the concept car looks exactly like the production car i don't know i, I mean i don't know all the cars that i found uh were <laughs> actually older than uh, the 90s uh so i mean this car, as I told you guys, I mean, we want to thank the owner, like really thank the owner because he gave us the chance to live for one week with this amazing spec car. Uh, yes, they came, they, they came with V6s, V6s uh, hybrids, uh, I think a V8 hybrid if I'm not mistaken, but to have a naturally aspirate, uh, a naturally aspirate V8, that sounds, I mean, <laughs> It sounds amazing. You might think it's a Chinese car or whatever, but it literally sounds, for me, better than an LS engine. And I had a modified car with an LS engine. And the car was like uh, literally, like literally, it was literally modified. It had uh, 700 plus horsepower. Uh, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do a couple of accelerations so you guys can see and hear uh how fast it can go and we're not gonna launch it we're just gonna take it smooth okay so let's do it one two three
how fast you want to go in this car how fast you want to go in this car i mean i'm in second gear let's do another acceleration and then we're gonna head out to show you a walk uh, around of the car so i'm in second gear full acceleration they say that it's like 4.9 seconds I mean come on I don't think so <laughs> I don't think so it feels less <laughs> the car is amazing